At Texas Stadium, the doomsday defense smothered the big red wave and held the 49ers to a meager 64 yards rushing. On passing situations, number 72 Ed Too Tall Jones was too much for Norm Snead in the collapsible San Francisco pass pocket. On offense, Roger Staubach naturally directed his aim toward Drew Pearson, the lithe and limber receiver who leads the NFL in receptions. On the strength of a field goal and a brutal head-on smash by Calvin Hill, the Cowboys led early and easily 10 to nothing. But nothing has come easy for Dallas in 1974, and their early momentum died after a few helmet-rattling licks by San Francisco. Mixing up his short passing game, Snead directed the 49ers to a touchdown with a play-action strike to tight end Ted Qualley. Rookie quarterback Tom Owen took over when Snead was injured, and he honed in on the splendid hands of Gene Washington. But Owen could not produce any points, and Dallas led 13 to 7, until some heroics by tackle Bob Hoskins, number 56. Another look at the play reveals that Hoskins looped behind in Cedric Hardman, number 86, and came in clean to cause and recover Staubach's fumble. From the Dallas 12, Owen lobbed one to Gene Washington at the end line, and San Francisco led for the first time 14-13. With less than 15 minutes to play, the doomsday defense made Owen pay for his touchdown pass. Spurred by his defense, Staubach began to drive Dallas Goldward with a piecemeal passing attack. Big play was a screen to Walt Garrison that set Dallas up nicely at the 49er seven. For the last seven yards, Staubach turned to Calvin Hill, who had 153 yards on the day, and Calvin's second touchdown iced a hard-fought 20-14 Dallas victory.